Hello, greetings. Uh, I can't believe it, uh, the people outside. So callous. And uh, here, Pakistani man, won't let us uh, live peacefully, independently, alone even. Or I have to call my brother this time to show them that I have a man behind me. My brothers are there. On Facebook also, Asian. God knows who he was, that Kashmiri guy or... So it's only these, uh, in, in Europe, one can go alone, one can live alone. If the girl, I've seen if the girl doesn't want, is not interested in you, uh, what, what is wrong with these uh, men? They won't come near you. I mean, what is wrong with our Muslims? The girl is not showing any interest in you. Sharafat say uh, some thing to fix in her house, or she's walking. You can't. Uh, I could smoke in London when I was like in my earlier ages when I was there, but here on the streets, no way. I can't smoke if a worker comes in the house to fix something because of what he will think I am. There's a lot of us uh, because uh, here prostitution rampant. And Arif, Mr. Arif Ajakia was telling us, or oh, who was telling us, uh, that the Dubai police has these ex army men or God knows ministers as policemen. Policemen here. What will it, it will be like, uh, you can't trust the policemen. I heard there were rape cases here in Dubai <gasps> that uh, were not reported uh, because uh, the, I think uh, the sheikh doesn't want uh, Okay, uh, but uh, you know uh, some policemen also? Like if you have Pakistani retired from their post and come to Dubai to be policemen, that's why I was thinking. We can't trust the Dubai police for the. Who are we going to call? Anyways, uh, so I have to be very careful here. Taxi drivers. There's a problem with. What is the problem with these Muslim men? Who do they think they are? Do they think they own us or something? So I've had enough of negativity in my life and all this um, uh, molesters. Muslims, Muslim molesters, perverted, lustful men and teenagers, workers, uh, and so much I'm living unbearable with unbearable pain. Sometimes even my own uh, family members could understand. Like they were saying, how, how could I play tennis or swim? Go, I used to go to Karachi American School when my brother was there. Swimming, I do swimming and, uh, you know, headaches come on every time. No, stretch yourself, no. No, no. You know, going to an ENT, my mother's relative, he told me a light problem, how light comes. They've ruined my eyes. How light comes and uh, recently uh, my grand aunt was telling me who gave her cancer. And I said, how? Then, then they said, uh, you know, sending bad energies like uh, lower energy chins, toxic, poisonous, cancerous, uh, cancerous uh, negativity. The bones are hurting. All this, uh, my principal, they were telling me my, in 1997, uh, the, I was feeling, sensing uh, that they want to give my principal cancer. And then uh, where I recently got a muscle pull, it's on my right side, on the back. But on her back, left side, there she had this pain. And she got it checked. She thought it was cancer. So they're trying to give cancer. And it's unbearable. It's really terrible pain. Just painkillers. Oh God, now I have to take 
a stronger painkiller for this. Uh, so people don't understand. I've tried my best and I don't know how they can even blindfold good meaning people who give good advice, well wishers, and uh, they would understand my case that I cannot, when I say I cannot go on, can't go play sports, can't read books, can't study, have to take breaks. You don't know, playing games here, trying to relax with my muscle pull thing. It's, uh, I get headaches, throwing up sick headaches. Uh, they try to stop my breathing during my sleep in Karachi, long time ago, before I joined St. Joseph's College. Now when I joined St. Joseph's College, it's uh, some, uh, who is behind this? Uh, so the light thing my father used to say, put off lights. Uh, so I cannot see who's behind this right now. Uh, so I'm doing, I'm saying uh, mantras uh, with this unbearable pain inside. Thank you.